Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Jess. I am an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader. And today we are here for the June 2022 predictions, sun, moon, or rising for Virgo. I went ahead and just shuffled the cards. I didn't ask anything specific. So let's just dive right in. Okay. Um, Virgo, this month. If you haven't already been feeling some type of way, you will be. You are feeling trapped, restricted, maybe back into a corner. Um, I feel as if that you may be under some sort of pressure or even some sort of dilemma, crisis even. And in this overall theme of this card, you are the one um, that are keeping yourself in this like negative situation, this negative thinking. You are paralyzed by the fear of the change that needs to take place. Um, so take the blindfold off because you can walk away at any time. I don't know if this is something that somebody has done to you. Um, maybe you are just paralyzed by your own fear from the past. Um, but you don't have to punish yourself for this. People are punishing you maybe for no reason. You are, um... I don't know, feeling powerless maybe. This can just take form of, like I said, feeling trapped in your life. Maybe you're confined to some sort of um, religion or like a spiritual path or like a pattern or something. This is just a matter of your perception. You can choose to change your direction whenever you want. This card has popped up in almost every reading before you, Virgo. Uh, for this month. It seems to be a common theme. You should go check out the video I made, New Moon in Gemini. Um, I think it would be really beneficial to you. I think the next two weeks may be uh, important for you to reflect on. Uh, you have the chariot coming up here. So this is focusing on something that is like really important. Soul, mind, spirit, something that's been affecting you for a long time. Um, you you are overcoming obstacles through determination and through willpower, okay? This card is like the trump card to get in a tarot spread, so you should be feeling very motivated this month and in control. You are realizing that you can take the blindfold off, that you do not have to stay in certain situations, and um, now is the time to go for what you really want. You can go here, you can do this, doesn't matter what you choose to do, you are going for it. And um, of course, this is not without any challenges. There may be some sort of obstacle, but you will stay focused. You have to keep your composure, find confidence in your abilities, okay? you will be successful. Um, I am seeing, hmm, it can, it can represent a travel. You could be like traveling. Um, it could also indicate that maybe you're acting a little bit defensively or aggressively to hide some, some sort of emotional vulnerability here because the Queen of Cups is coming up. This is reflecting on relationships and emotions. Um, <laughs> excuse me, but again, maintain focus. Um, you may feel like you're in a battle at the moment or at some moments in June, if not already, but, um, there, there needs to be some sort of balance in between your heart and your mind and put any worries aside so that again, you can remain focused. I don't know why focus is such a big theme word that keeps coming up but this journey is leading you to much greater things don't be afraid to try new things new experiences um because you're definitely going to reap the benefits here uh i don't know if this is somebody who is going to help you you've got the queen of cups coming up here this is uh water sign energy so pisces cancer scorpio um this is somebody in your life who'll be very supportive in the changes that you're going to be making and um this is also a sign that you should be mindful about how you treat yourself and treat others and it needs to be done so in compassion and sympathy this could also be indicating that you may be more sensitive than you really let on in the outside world so any harsh actions or um 
hurtful comments may affect you a little bit more this month. Uh, I also feel like, again, somebody who's very kind and supportive is going to be around you, okay? So kind of short and sweet this month, just staying focused, I think is the big one. Um, your your psychic abilities, your intuition is very strong. Maybe again, going back to somebody here who um, has these abilities, who can help you kind of navigate through tough situations through some sort of like spiritualness, if that is what you are interested in. Um, the sun, you are gaining clarity. This is a big thing. You are realizing uh, what is making you trapped, realizing that you can and do have direction and have options, okay? Your seventh chakra is being effective, effective, affected. You are trying to find stability and you're going to find new ways in doing that. Um, and you are understanding what needs to take place. Finally, I think that meditation, guided meditation and yoga would be really great for your uh, crown chakra. Uh, these changes that you are going for this month are leading to happy home life, happy uh, friends, family, whatever this is, this is just happiness all around. It's stability, it's security, um, clarity, guidance, purity. I just feel like there's a sense of peace from whatever stress or anxiety that you've been going through here. Um, I think you're going to spend some time really contemplating on how to be more constructive or make better decisions. And you're definitely moving on. You've got the second chakra coming up here. So this is just focusing on like, again, change, moving forward, moving on. It's the, it's the best thing I can um, say. It's almost like you're realizing that some ideas aren't panning out for the better. Um, they're not what, what you thought they would be. So um, you're finding a different sort of stability or a different sort of security by this helping hand here, maybe. And this, you know, this bad luck, this whatever it is that's not working out, it's not going to be forever. New ideas, new projects are coming through. It's just going to take a a lot of time um, because we're just so afraid of, of moving on or doing the necessary steps that we need to do to get ourselves out of this period of isolation or feeling trapped because um, we don't want to seem cold and abrasive but you know sometimes we have to stay focused which can make us um, seem some type of way when it's really not that. All right, so hopefully this gives you a little bit of clarity and guidance throughout June of 2022. I do suggest that you come back in the middle of the month and at the end of the month because it can really give you a lot more insight and clarity. Um, I do feel spirit is guiding you, Virgo. This is definitely a lot of strength that is being called upon you. I know that you're going to be really... Um, hostile but there's so many possibilities so much change around you so hopefully you're able to make the the proper decisions anyways if you want a more in-depth reading for yourself virgo all you have to do is go to the description um all the information that you need for a private reading will be there love and light to you good luck for june 2022 and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.